all right so there are a couple of things that are kind of annoying to do in jamaica or at least annoying to me i can speak for myself that i find annoying um one of those things is having to deal with atms specifically having to stand in line waiting to use an atm no i don't have a problem with standing in line per se i understand that you know you're gonna want to have order and you want to see who's there first and who comes after to make sure that everybody gets through and able to you know do the transaction but i think that the average time that jamaicans spend in the atm is a bit too long especially because typically you're going to be doing one of two transactions either going to be withdrawing money or you're going to be depositing money other than that maybe you're going to be checking the account balance but if not, if it's not one of those things it doesn't you don't need to be taking 10 to 15 minutes in the atm for no good reason when everybody else is waiting outside probably in the sun well what, what are you like staying in there because the person before you stayed in there long if you're going to the atm you should know what you're going to be doing you should know your pin that's associated with your card already you shouldn't have to be in there for 15 20 30 minutes or sorry maybe it just feels like that but but in the hot sun waiting and it just feels like for me that you're just in there wasting time because it has never taken me more than three less than a half a minute it's never taken me more than half a minute unless there's something wrong with the atm itself and generally when i get up to the front of the line and go in there the atm is working typically okay and even if it's not working okay even if it takes a couple seconds longer to process the payment or whatever it isn't taking me three four five six seven minutes to you know how to do whatever i'm doing so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna do a tutorial on how to get out of the atm in less time so as i don't want to be in the line for as long as you guys are making me be in the line for so this is a tutorial to pretty much help myself here so all right so first things first let's say you go to the bank or let's say you go to the atm um, window you go to the you you go to an atm so it's located at a bank or so say some shopping center or whatever you go to the atm do you know what you're going in there to do so as i mentioned it's probably one of two things you're going to be doing is either you're going to be withdrawing 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 money right is either going to be withdrawing money or you're going to be depositing money now i understand with depositing may take a bit longer because sometimes with the bank notes um with the money it may be that it's crumpled up or you may need to straighten it out and the atm just isn't, isn't accepting certain bills we've gone through that since 2020 when the to know when the bills have changed and you know we've seen that and understand understand that to some degree but if you know that you're going into the atm to withdraw money or if you are let's specifically talk to those who are doing uh withdrawals at all because if um if you're, if you're depositing you can see with you guys it, it's gonna take a while for you to like into the details and all of that but typically most people go to the to the atm to, to withdraw money withdraw money we're talking about withdrawals right now if you go into the atm right you know that you're going to need to enter your code you know you're going to need your card you know you're going to need your card you know this is withdrawing money that's what we're talking about now you know you're going to need to withdraw money you know you're going to need your bank card take that out of it all right even if you don't want to take it out while you're like in the later part like like uh if you don't want to have it in your hands and you know have it out for a long extended period of time if you reach if you're like the third person or let's say the second person next to um go into the atm just state just start 
prepare yourself and get yourself ready so you can do the quick thing quicker so I don't, I don't have to be in the line waiting when I don't need to be there because all right you know that after you're going to do your withdrawal you know you're going to need to have your card in hand you know you're going to need a pin most ATMs work with a similar logic system so it's going to ask you to insert a card first of all then it's going to ask you how much what 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 you're gonna ask you for your pin so if you don't know your pin out your head just have it somewhere you know, maybe uh, have it on your phone already pulled up so you don't have to be like searching and <sighs> all right so have the pin ready to go have the card ready to go no it's like what maybe four or five different types of atms in jamaica you have this scotia one that um they tell you on the door that it's going to take a bit longer for the transaction to go through you have the ncb um you have a couple of the uh, smaller banks have their atms also so it's just like a couple types so all you need to do you know that you need to have your eight yeah you need to have your card out you need to have you know, your pin you need to know the transaction so typically it's going to take you to a couple of screens but the screens are typically similar so it's going to ask you if you're going to if it if you're going to ask for your pin you put in the pin it's going to ask you what you're doing today if you're going to be depositing if you're going to be withdrawing money it's going to ask you yeah, click on which one you want then it's going to ask you like how much you're going to be doing so whether you're going to put that uh amount in directly or you're going to just click on um, 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 one of the amounts then after that you get your money and you come out of the place what well, well, more than that so it's pretty much what first five steps right pin so all right so it's card first then pin then um wait for it to load a little bit then you put in the transaction you want to do then you receive your money and they're out that's five steps why is five steps taking six seven minutes when it's not like the atm giving problem i understand that some people don't really understand how to use technology and but but come on if you've used that card for more than three times you should have a general idea of what you're going to need to do so get the card ready get your pin ready um get your mind ready that you're not gonna spend a long time in the ATM because other people are outside waiting and I get it during the AC and you want to kinda cool on a bit, but come on, it's not time for that. Just do what you need to do, get out so I can get in and get out, so that somebody else can get in and get out and it doesn't have to be a whole day thing, me waiting in the line for you. You waiting in the line for me for the whole day. You just go in, put in the prompt that you need to put in, put in the card put in your pin put in the prompt for what you want to do you deposit in are you withdrawing then you do your thing i know some people like to spend a long time uh, counting the money but come on if, even if you're counting the money just do it quicker no man because right now let me let me call a full video about this